the oh, law. Yo, for them. You see, this is the sh I like, bro. This is the sh I like, bro. What's up, JK fam? And we back with, with another Kaka day. We're super excited, guys, because we love doing these videos. I think we appreciate it a lot more yeah, than I, I, I thought. Yeah, we I get excited. Gonna, yeah, though. me too. I get excited for yeah. scary shit. Guys, again, we opened a, a, a channel on Discord that's specifically for scary videos. Links. When you guys are posting that's links, it. and we you appreciate guys you guys. Because there's a lot of good videos, but a lot of them we don't know. So, like, a lot of sometimes we just feel like... So, this was on the Discord, bro. So, top five scary ghost videos for full screen terror, guys. So, make sure you have your blankets. Make sure you have your headphones. Let's get straight into and it. And make sure you have diapers for the cacas. Yeah. Let's go, guys. Or for us, we clean it up later, you know? It's nasty, bro. Yo, you're disgusting. You're you disgusting, piece of bro. shit, bro. Shut the fuck up, bro. You piece of caca, bro. Five ghosts caught on camera. Found footage. Whoa. Paranormal Close Investigator the Joe from the YouTube channel Afterlife Paranormal wow. Investigations is joined by his friend That's Rob. Like as no, bro, the mouse. Oh, his mouse. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't see the mouse on the thing, so. Joe from the YouTube channel Afterlife Paranormal Investigations is joined by his friend Rob as they explore a creepy abandoned farmhouse in Brownstown, Michigan. The guys are hoping to have a paranormal encounter, but first they capture a very strange oh, encounter. Guys, 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 guys! Bro, shut the fuck up! I know, bro. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I want to get in touch with this guy. Yeah. I need his voice for a video. I have an idea. What we're we gonna have email him? You can yeah. email him. Say you caught a ghost. You'll be the ghost. Yeah, bro. Cool. They explore a creepy abandoned farmhouse in Brownstown, Michigan. The guys are hoping to have a paranormal encounter. But first, they capture a very strange encounter with an angry bee. There's this fly that can... Is that a fly or a beetle? Keeps coming near my leg. Oh, what beetle, bro? Oh, it's a bee, dude. <laughs> it's a bee, dude. It's a bee. I know, dude. It's like, leave us alone. <laughs> I can hear it, dude. It sounds... As they investigate, they start to pick up some very bizarre K2 EMF readings. Dude, where did that be? Oh my god, dude, K2. It's on the light or something? Oh, oh. It is going out of control. But then, the two investigators capture something without even knowing. Something they just can't explain. All right, we're getting ready to check out the upstairs and see if we can even stand on these floors, but it looks sketchy. That bee, dude, is not like leaving us alone. This bee keeps trying to attack us. I wish we had some spray to kill it. Man. You good, dude? Did you see no, it? I saw that. Where? A strange mist or smoke-like apparition yeah. seems to form right in front of them. Oddly enough, the two investigators can't even see it. I saw Joe later it, explained that he had no idea what he had just captured, and to his great regret, he just stopped recording, completely unaware of the amazing evidence that he was capturing on camera. So just what do you think this odd dark mist could be? Okay, do me a favor. Let me know. That light, can you move it out a bit? Because I feel like it's like freaking reflection and shit. Bro, man. I can't, bro. Say this before, man. Move it out of the fucking thing, man. How? Bro, you got fucking legs, bro. Move a bit. There you go, much better. This is good? Yeah, I think it's much better. Cause I, I can't see the corner, man. I feel well, like I put it's like... it up a bit. Yeah, why not? Okay, get in, man. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Put on the headphones, man. You can check out this full investigation over on Joe's YouTube channel, Move, bro. Afterlife Paranormal Investigations. Yeah, A turn for the worse. 
Paranormal investigators Kurum and Shahid. Okay, but that was caca. That was nothing. From the YouTube channel Saya Official, travel to an abandoned farmhouse in Punjab, Pakistan, that is said to be extremely haunted by an evil entity. The entire property is haunted, but especially one particular tree that seems to trigger aggressive supernatural activity tree. when approached. The man says that three of his children mysteriously became very ill after they had been playing underneath the tree. Their hands and feet became locked in a twisted, painful position, what and they the couldn't fuck? move them. The farm owner also became ill and suffered the exact same fate. His hands and feet became twisted in pain. The helpless, terrified family soon deserted the farmhouse and just never returned. Kuram and Shahid were called in to investigate the extreme haunting of the farm. Now just so you know what's going on, the loud aerial noise that can be heard in this footage is explained by Kuram and Shahid to be the sounds of a Muslim religious event that is taking place in the same month they are investigating. So when the two friends begin exploring the property, it doesn't take long before they start to experience the alleged extreme haunting for themselves. ये खिड़की खुली हुई है मुझे लग रहा है ये हवा की क्रॉसिंग की वजह से देखें असल में हवा की क्रॉसिंग हो रही है जिसकी वजह से ना व्हाट द फक ब्रो समथिंग फेल फ्रॉम द स्काई ब्रो हां स्काई आई सीन यार खुलम ये मेरे पीछे पता नहीं क्या चीज आके लगी है a car sitting on the farm's property begins to shake on its own and something heavy is thrown and hits Shahid in the back. They don't know it yet, but things are just going to get worse oh. from here. Oh. Bro. You see, this is the shit I like, bro. This is the shit I like, bro. Bro, pissed off though, eh? But that ghost is pissed the fuck out, bro. Yo, get the fuck out of here, man. It's my tree. Look, look, look. Hello, y'all, put him. Oh, bro, he flipped it good, bro. He's been practicing probably, you know. This is the sound of it. Yo, this is a pulti. It was here. Yes, it was here. A wooden hay cart is flipped into the air and falls violently. The two investigators are shocked, but they continue to explore the area. Takes a lot of courage. What though. happens next is just terrifying. Bizarre. Oh, yeah, the air, yeah, the can. What am I? The can. Is that mirror? The sink be na. Sink be total. No, no, no mirrors, bro. Avada, yeah, what am I there? So, niya apne. Haan ji. Did you see it? Shahid looks into an old dirty mirror when he hears a sound and the two investigators turn around. But Shahid's reflection doesn't move. Oh, shit. His own face seems to be staring back at him as he turns and moves toward the unexplained sound. Completely unaware of what just happened, uh, Shahid and Karam part. set out to uh, find the source of the mysterious noise. Huh? Huh? I don't buy that part. Can you feel your the two investigators ask for the dark presence to appear and they get exactly what they wish for. A strange figure can be seen throwing something at the team from the other side of the property. When they run over, there's no one there. 
the creepy apparition has simply disappeared. Well, fucked up, man. The team decides oh, to split up and Shahid guys. goes into one of the old farm buildings and heads they upstairs. Still do it. They still continue. He sets up a static camera and lies down on an old bed frame. It did not go well. Oh no. Oh no, bro. He's lying down, bro. <laughs> Sorry, bro. That was a little bit funny, though. The heavy bed frame suddenly flips over, throwing Shahid to the floor. The terrified investigator just gets up and makes a run for it. After this horrifying experience, the team decides they've pretty much had enough. Well, yeah, and they for decide them to, to call get out it of a there. night. Now, real or not, the metal frame of that bed and Shahid's weight combined would have been extremely heavy and difficult to lift off the floor. So this footage is without a doubt incredibly strange and very creepy. It is. I'm not sure I have an explanation. It's very weird. But yeah. maybe you do. Is it real? Or is it all just a very heavy, elaborate hoax? You uh, decide. Yeah, look at, you can watch this full two-part series over on the YouTube channel, Saya Official. You can watch this the very, but the maybe you do. Okay, look. Is it yeah, real? Look at the, the way it goes like... Yeah, like I'm a not weird, sure yeah, I have, look. have an explanation, but Yo, maybe you do. Look, yeah, you got hurt. But look at this, okay? It goes like this. You see that? Yeah. I'm not but look, sure I have an explanation. Look when it drops. But maybe you okay. do. Is it real? Yeah, it doesn't drop. It flies. I feel like it with the wind. No, but look. Press play. Sure, I have an explanation, but maybe you do. Is it real? Look, look when it drops. Or is it all just a very elaborate hoax? You decide. Yeah, I guess so, man. You can I watch this so. full two-part series over on the YouTube channel, Saya Official. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at the top five at gmail.com. Shut the fuck up, bro. Listen, bro. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok. Oh! Anonymous TikTok user Haunted Wesley Manor claims that he works as a building maintenance man for a large apartment complex that was built in the late 1700s. Now, back in those days, the basement of the building contained cheap live-in apartments for hundreds of poor occupants. But now, after years of restorations and remodeling, the basement is left empty and abandoned. TikTok user Haunted Wesley Manor says that many of his co-workers and even current residents of the building have heard and seen some very strange things. In fact, after many residents started reporting that they heard crying, giggling, and even screaming coming from the basement, the anonymous TikTok user and building maintenance man was forced to start checking out the creepy basement for intruders on a regular basis. He records his experiences and shares them on TikTok. <laughs> His curious TikTok followers believe that the spirits of restless children might actually haunt the basement, and they request that the TikTok user leave a toy in the basement. So he does, and that's when things get truly bizarre. I brought a little toy. Hopefully the ghost likes it. I think it's a child. I'm hearing a lot of stuff down here. No. The toy truck suddenly turns on as if someone or oh, something guys. touched it. After this creepy experience, the activity in the basement only seems to intensify. The TikToker begins to hear movements and giggling when he goes down on his daily inspections. And then, one day, he captures something downright chilling. A young child can be seen peeking at the frightened TikToker from behind a wall. Yo, I got scared, bro. I got scared, bro. I can't even take my arms down. Yo, I got scared, Yo, bro. I got, bro. Look at this. Yo, guys, I got Yo, terrified. that was a shoe-jazz caca. Bro, I squeezed out. my legs, bro. My arms, I'm, I'm hugging my belly, bro. My elbows. I can't get them out. Yo, that was fucked up, guys. Yo, look at it, bro. Why are you doing that, man? Why are you doing that, bro? Why are you doing that to me now? Why are you doing that to me now? Oh. 
A young child can be seen peeking at the frightened TikToker from behind a wall. And then the video cuts out. So is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate TikTok hoax? You decide. Why did he cut his jaw? Yeah, why did he cut his In another video, TikTok user Maddie Bark believes that a dark entity followed her home after oh she went on a paranormal God. investigation at a cemetery. She says that she's seen something strange in her yard on a regular basis, and that whatever it is, it appears to be getting closer and closer to her house. One night, she's shocked when something appears right at her front door. What? Oh my God, bro. Maggie, Maggie, oh my god. Maggie? No. No, 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 no. Oh my god. No, 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 Did you no, just move? No, no. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No. Is he out there? Don't open the door. Why don't you open the door? door? Bro, this is why people shit, bro. Why are you opening the door? They don't bro? have a fucking peephole, bro. What peephole, bro? Don't open the fucking door, bro. I want to see that thing again, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, but what the fuck? Maggie. Maggie. Oh my god. Maggie. Who is the fuck? Oh my god. Did he just move? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Is he out there? Come on, move. Do you see anything? You move. Sell the house. Half price. No, I don't see anything. It looked like it turned and walked away. The only place it could have gone is through this. Bro, do it together, bro. Do it together. One angle on the left, one angle on the right. <laughs> A pale, translucent figure can be seen looking into the window of Maddie's front door. It then seems to move to the side and suddenly disappear into thin air. Maddie and her sister open the front door, but no one there. What makes this footage even stranger is that there's nowhere for this mysterious figure to have gone. There are several steps up and a tall guardrail right beside the door. So again, is it real? As always, I leave it up to you to decide. Three haunted houses. YouTube user Megasquirrel64Gamer has his entire YouTube channel dedicated to gaming videos and occasional vlogs. But there's one video on his channel that's very different. In the video, the YouTuber explains that his dad got a delivery and opened the front door to receive it. On the door, there's a security camera, which is now filming the inside of the house near the living room. The camera captures something downright chilling. Need a freelancer? Go to Fiverr.com and okay, find bro. one in seconds. Fiverr, Don't bro, go relax. to Fiverr. Hey, hey, Enough with times. Fiverr, bro. Did you see it? Bro, YouTube shit, user Megasquirrel64Gamer explains that his mom and dad were the only ones present during the recording of this video. So just who or what is sitting on the couch next to his mom? Oh my God, bro. The gamer has no idea what this bizarre apparition could be, and to this day, the video remains unexplained. But what do you think this might be? Let me know. Down in the comments. Yo, this one's good, guys. In another this video of an alleged good, haunted house, guys. Sylvia C. from England says that she's been dealing with aggressive poltergeist activity <laughs> ever since she bro. played around yeah, with the Ouija. Bro. Me too, but trust me, bro. This video, guys, really good so far, man. You okay? Yeah. Bored. Hi, guys. I've just put the camera on. There's a lot of activity tonight in the kitchen. Go home. I mean, get out of there. Get out of there, right away. Just banging that cupboard door. Leave, leave the house. No, I don't like this one. time. Don't know what to do. Sylvia says that the house she lives in was built on top of an old British coal mine. She now fears that whatever dark spirit she unleashed during her Ouija board session might be trying to harm her. Yeah, idiot, bro. That plate's moving. That plate. It's a nice plate. I don't want to see this thing, bro. I know it's gonna pop out of somewhere, bro. In case it comes out. 
it's me. Can you see that? That plate is moving. Oh my god. Just broke that plate. Oh my god, guys. Spirit in the kitchen, why did you do that? As the strange activity only seems to intensify, Sylvia starts to set up static cameras around her house. Oh no, bro. cabinet slams shut with such force that it appears to shake the entire kitchen. Another night and the terrifying activity starts up again. Sylvia understandably starts to freak out just a bit. Hi guys, the activity in the kitchen. Guys, I heard things happening in the kitchen again. That cutter is moving. I saw that, that tin was moving. Oh, oh my god, that one's just moved. Spirit in the kitchen. Why are you moving things again? The spirit in the kitchen, bro. Like, I better get out. Please don't move it. Cut the Please don't throw a knife. Spirit in the kitchen. Oh my god. Let's just shut that door. Yeah, that's crazy. Though, What's your machine? It's almost terrifying. Spirit in the kitchen. Oh no, guys, let's just move that chair. Well, that's fine. Oh god, I can't take it. Oh god, god, I'm so scared. Oh, oh, somewhere is, somewhere is. But nothing prepares Sylvia no, for what happens no, no, next. No, 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 I don't want to be prepared for this, bro. Copper is moving. Don't go there, don't go there. <coughs> A sharp knife flies from the countertop and lands very near her feet. Sylvia says that she is now worried for her safety. She is currently trying to move to a new home. You can watch even more creepy videos of the terrifying activity in Sylvia's home over on her YouTube channel, Sylvia C. This next creepy video was sent in to me by a Nukes Top 5 viewer. However, the Leave the house, bro. Leave the house. Why are you looking at me like that, bro? No, but leave the house, bro. Okay, what the bro. fuck are you doing, bro? You're filming the thing? Spirit in the kitchen. Why are you moving? Leave the fucking house, bro. Bro, that's your home, bro. No, you don't care, bro. You go to a motel, hotel? Votel? This next creepy video was sent in to me by a Nukes Top 5 Carolina viewer. Torres. However, the source of the mysterious footage is unknown. So the story goes that the residents of a house are being tormented by terrifying poltergeist activity. In an attempt to capture proof of the strange events, they leave a camera running overnight. What they catch on camera is absolutely terrifying. You, bro. Bro. This is editing bullshit, this is editing, bro. bro. This, is this is editing, bro. <laughs> this is editing bullshit. Yo, bro. that was some freaky shit, man. Yo, Jesus Christ. Go, go, oh go. Oh, my God, bro. I probably don't need to ask, but did you see it? 
Objects on the table appear to be moving on their own and a light slowly bends over. But then, for just a split second, some bizarre dark shape appears to be standing at the table. The figure only appears for two frames of video and then seems to become translucent before disappearing completely. A few seconds later and the figure can be seen again, this time in the kitchen. Now I'm certainly not saying that this is 100% real paranormal footage and without the original source we'll never know, but it's definitely very creepy. The Devil's Backbone YouTuber Luis Manuel Mote from the YouTube channel Terror Al Extremo travels to El Espinazo del Diablo, which translates to The Devil's Backbone. The road is one of the most dangerous highways in Mexico. The motorway is infamous for its treacherous curves, sudden ravines, and steep climbs and drops between mountains. Undeniably, the road has seen its fair share of tragic accidents and the highway is believed to be very haunted. Luis is joined by his friend and cameraman Odin as they explore several abandoned buildings on the Devil's Road. Soon after they arrive, Luis begins to explain to the audience where they are. Little do the two men know that they have already captured something very strange. Okay, pues ya estamos aquí dentro de este lugar. Vamos a ver, no es que de verdad sí estoy sugestionado. Venimos con un poco de miedo, pero bueno. Vamos a ver qué, qué encontramos en este lugar. Se presenta detrás de cámaras. Su amigo Dean, familia. Y su amigo y servidor, Luis Manuel. Su amigo Dean, familia. Y su amigo y servidor. No. A pale figure can be seen walking in the distance, okay. barely visible on camera. Now it should be noted the two friends are in a remote area, far away from any cities or towns, which makes this capture even more bizarre. As they begin their exploration and walk through one of the abandoned structures, the two are spooked by something seconds, they one. can't explain. Three seconds, one. Uh, they're still playing this game, World of Warcraft. Prepare. Is it good? Yeah, it's alright. Never played that. It's long, so. Uh oh. Who's going to? We fought the rest of us. Patearon algo, ¿no? Sí. Pero no había nada. Solamente esta lata. Me invento y ya me saqué de onda, ¿eh? Es que allá arriba no hay ni para dónde se echen a correr. Si es que hay vivos aquí. Mira, hay una casita allá abajo. Yo creo que ha de ser baño. No inventes, Odín. Mira, hay una casita allá abajo. Yo creo que ha de ser baño. No inventes, Odín. A can falls on its own and soon after an eerie moan can be heard just before a door slams shut. Luis and Odin begin to get the feeling that they're not, not alone. alone and someone or something is following them. Their suspicions are soon confirmed when they witness something with their own eyes. 
Take your videos to the next level. What ad lips? Go to motionary.com and get the best video templates. Press play, bro. Something chilling. ¿Qué soy yo de ese lado? Por arriba. ¿Quién se vio por atrás? ¿sabes? ¿Qué será? No sé. Ahí hay algo en el árbol, ¿ya viste? Alumbra, le alumbra, sí, 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 sí. Ya lo viste, ya lo viste. Luis. ¿Sí lo agarraste? Alcancé a verlo, pero se lo... Another moan can be heard coming from somewhere out of the darkness. Then they both see a pale figure walking in the distance near the ruins of some abandoned structures. When they explore the area, they find nothing and no one. So did Luis and Odin capture the paranormal activity that people claim has been haunting the Devil's Backbone Highway? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch this full the investigation morning. and many more creepy videos the over on the YouTube channel, Terror Alex Tremo. Thanks for watching. By the way, there's a video that some of you might not have seen because it was taken down for a bit over a week because of a weird copyright thing. But the copyright thing is all worked out now and the video's back up. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. Or if you have seen it, uh, that's the one. I don't know, maybe that was that? watch it that was again. It? I mean, it's it's a pretty good one. But if not, that's okay. Anyway, it here's is. my Instagram, my Twitter, and my TikTok. And I'll see you next week. <laughs> Yo, guys, I loved it. I think this one was really good. This was good. Some of them, obviously, you know, you were going to question it. Some of them are like, do they work on effects? You know, because, you know, digital. You no, know, no, like, especially the unknown source. Yeah, but come on, man. Come on, man. It's for, anyway. I think, I think the child one really freaked the shit yeah, out of me. Yeah, the child? Um, the door. The door. Bro, Jesus Christ, was that the door? door. going to talk about that door. Um, who, who, what else? Lamon was freaky. And um, the people there, that uh, the bed. That was okay. That was okay. Guys, let us know which part you <laughs> think was spooky for you. Comment down below. The next video you guys want us to react, we definitely want to do more during the week. So yeah, uh, the more videos more we have, the better it is. So like that, we could come in and, and just start reacting exactly. right away off the bat. And we also want to work on some a new, a new intro maybe for the spooky videos. And sure, just a new to, intro for Kaka Days. For Kaka Days specifically. For Kaka Days. And, and, and Kaka Days. But guys, we want to see you love guys, you so let much. Let us know more. Hopefully y'all are having a beautiful Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a like. But if but you're guys, new. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, the whole package. But the JK Bros, we gotta go. See you on the next video.